Hey guys, welcome back to Jardiv. Today I'm going to be playing a bit of GeoGuessr. Now, I've only played about four or five games of GeoGuessr. I've seen a few videos on it. Uh, the Yogscast used to do it about, about a year ago, I think it was. Uh, but I haven't really seen anything uh, for about the last year until Jimmy did a video on it last week. And it, it kind of reminded me of how fun GeoGuessr is. So I thought I'd do this sort of as a challenge to Jimmy. Jimmy didn't actually finish his game, he only did three out of the five guesses, so I can't really challenge his score. But uh, Jimmy, this is a challenge to you. I'm going to do better than you. If you do it again. <laughs> it can also be a challenge for anyone who's watching. If you, if you want, you can uh, post, post your score in the comments below. Uh, try and beat my score. I don't know what my score is yet, I haven't started, but uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll do fine. So we're just going to do single player. I don't even know what challenge mode is. It's obviously updated a bit since I last played. If you don't know what GeoGuessr is, it basically plonks you into uh, Google Earth and you kind of look around and you have to try and guess where you are and you have to pinpoint where you are on the map. So <laughs> sometimes it's really easy, you know, you'll see like a street sign or something. So I just had to adjust my, my capture window, it was a little bit small. Uh, yeah, sometimes you see like a, a street name or something and you're like, oh great, I'm in <laughs> somewhere. And then sometimes you're in the middle of a, a field with what looks like a, a horse or a sheep. So, and you've got this really blurry grass underneath you. <laughs> so this is going to be very hard. We're on the coast somewhere. That actually does help quite a bit. Um, because obviously on the map you can go plonk yourself next to an ocean. This could be Scotland. I'm thinking England or New Zealand because you know what New Zealand has a lot of? Sheep. But those are not sheep, Those I think those are cows, and I actually cannot go any further this way. So not only, not only has it put me in the middle of bloody nowhere, it's also put me uh, at, at a dead end. I think that just says no smoking or something like that. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere here. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> oh lovely. So, so we're like on a farm somewhere. Could be New Zealand, could be like Australia or something. I don't think it's Australia. Australia looks a lot nicer than this. I'm gonna guess Scotland or New Zealand. I want to try and you know, try and get somewhere that I can pinpoint. We've got 51.55. That's not particularly helpful. Got some mailboxes. I think they're trying to blur the car or something there. Just go up a little bit. Try and look back at them. They don't look like English mailboxes. This sign is blurred. Although, like, that brickwork looks quite English. I, I'm probably totally off. That's, a, that's the dangerous thing about, like, recording it, is, you know, you make all these assumptions, you're like, oh yeah, this is definitely Spain, or this is definitely France, or something. And then you guess, and it turns out you're actually in, uh, Nebraska. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, there's a sign here. Let's have a little, little look, maybe we can get a little bit closer. That looks like a, a cycling sign, okay. But these could be like road signs, so we'll try and go up there. I gotta try and find where we were. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! Kong Vegan? Ah, uh, that could be Sweden. Could be Swedish or Finnish or something like that. Okay, well, both these places are this way, so let's try and go up this road a little bit more. Sweden is my new guess. It's definitely not New Zealand. New Zealand doesn't have, like, that kind of language, does it? No. It's like Wales has its own language. Wales, Welsh language is fascinating. <laughs> uh, this does look like just, just a tiny little road here. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is terrible. What does that say? Congo vegan. Okay, I'm. I think I'm gonna have to guess somewhere in Sweden. And I don't. Even, oh, there's Sweden. Oh, Sweden's huge. Okay, look out for Kong. Kong vegan. It's got to be on the coast, right? So we'll zoom in a bit. Or we'll just kind of look around. Oh boy, this. I don't even know if we're still in Sweden. I think we are. Yeah, we are. We're just in Sweden. I didn't see like any of these E4s or anything. Is that still in Sweden? 
That's, that's gone to Finland. Oh, fuck. It, it could be Finland as well. Okay, I'm going to guess it is... I'm looking for somewhere else with a K. <laughs> Not near Stockholm. I'm going to say right there. So you, you click to put your little marker down and we'll make a guess. And it gives you points based on... Oh, man, it was Norway. Shit. So it gives you, like, the, the closer you are, the more points you get. So I was 702 kilometers away. But if you zoom out... I mean, it's, it's still not great, is it? That's pretty far away. I've lost it. Where was it? It was up here. That's not bad. You know, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so we'll hop on to the next round. So that's the first round done, and you have five rounds. Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere again, but this looks like quite a handy, handy sign. Oh. That's Russian, isn't it? I believe that's Russian. Could be wrong. Apologies if uh, it's not Russian. But we are, we're very in the middle of nowhere. Look at these signs. Oh, there's a pedestrian crossing like right at a bus stop. Huh. It doesn't actually say bus stop on it though. It's the only uh, Russian word I actually know. No, it's not. I don't know any Russian words. I think it's Russia. I'm going to try and guess somewhere in Russia, because I don't think I'm going to be able to find uh, anywhere better than... Oh god, Russia's huge, isn't it? <laughs> but, I mean, it, it could be like Ukraine or Turkey or something. What were those signs? Hang on, I need to go back to the signs. Oh, that's the, the Google car. Excuse me, I'm coming back. <laughs> back up. Oops. Oh, this is right where we started. <laughs> I can't even like look for those. Okay, just see if we get like any any of them popping up. Nope. That's not close. It oh, is it? No, not really. You know, what? I'm just gonna guess around here. Oh no, but that's that's in the the snowy bit. No, that's not right. We're obviously in a grassy bit. Could be about there. I'll plonk that there to kind of remember it. That's almost to uh, Mongolia. Okay, let's just make a guess there. Oh god. It was Russia. Because Russia's so big, I wasn't even close. It was really close to Moscow, actually. Crazy. See, so yeah, I only got 417 points for that. That is not great. Almost 4,000 kilometers away. Okay. Let's do round three. Okay. Now these, these are... Uh, English or European road signs, I know. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, there's another sign. That looks like that looks like an English one. Or a UK one. Lingdal. Okay, it's definitely not UK. <laughs> what does that say? Buckesteins. Okay, so this is definitely Germany, right? Buckesteins. Buckesteins Tunnelin. 9,400 meters away. <laughs> This, oh, this is quite pretty, isn't it? It's a nice lake here. Should we go and try and find that tunnel? Okay, there's the tunnel. Is a tunnel going to show up on the map? Probably not. Is this a little bathroom? Oh no, it's a little... Oh, you can like make an emergency call or something, I think. And this says... Stop. Don't go through if it's flashing. Oh, I forgot what the tunnel was called. Ooh. Bucking, buckins, bucking something. Buckesteins. Okay, now we go to Germany, and we're going to try and find something that says Buckesteins. And that is, I'm sure not how you pronounce it. That's also uh, the other bad thing about <laughs> recording this, is you butcher lots of languages. Obviously, you're not allowed to, like, Google things if you, like, I could just go Google Bookestein's tunnel and find out where it is. Got a good feeling about Osnabrück, you know? Do a little zoom in. See if we can see any Bookesteins. No. Okay, we're gonna go. It's not really a main road, is it? Because it's only two lanes here. Oh, it's one lane, in fact. So we're gonna say this little road right there. Okay, that's it. What? Was it in bloody Norway again? 
what? Is it like an underwater tunnel between Norway and Germany? I was kind of close. 644 kilometers away is not bad. Let's zoom in there. I would never have got that. What's it doing up here? <laughs> oh my god. Huh, so it was in Norway. Oh, there's Lingdal. Shit. Lingdal's not German. Why would I... Okay. All right. Now we're at round four now. Oh, it's a very low quality area we're in. Which means it hasn't been here for a while. 2013 it says. On the, the watermarks. Usually, if you see this kind of picture. And this kind of uh, area. You kind of think it's Australia. Because Australia is quite deserty. But this does actually look a bit too green to be desert. Uh, to be Australia. <laughs> look at this road. Oh. I did, I did a couple of tests, like I played two rounds just to make sure I still remembered how to play it um, yesterday before I recorded this, and one was somewhere in North America that I could pick out quite easily, and the other one was right in the middle of a small Spanish uh, town that I got on the map really easily. I haven't had any of that today. But you can't even read the signs. I don't know, this, is this Australia? I'm not very familiar with Australia. Oh god. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to go somewhere in the... South Australia's? Right there. Here we go. It was actually in South Australia! Oh sorry, it was in New South Wales. In Australia. It's still in Australia. Australia is quite big though. I mean, that's not bad. If you zoom out, not too bad, right? Okay, 2300 points. It'll, it'll tally them all up at the end so you don't have to keep count. Although well, you can see my score right there. Okay, so we're right by a truck. It's a good start. Oh, it's going to be Norway again. Was that up here? I think that's just like a, a traffic sign. Oh, that's a workman's signs. I thought that was like bears crossing or something there. Oh, just back up a little bit. We can have a look at the bear. Oh, it's it's a, a, a horse horseman crossing. And there was a sign on there. Reeves Street. I'm going to guess England. Because this little triangle thing back there is... I know it's definitely in England. I assume... Um, I assume a lot of English signs show up in... In, uh, in, in in Europe in general. Sir John Thorne Drive. Although, aren't these signs a little bit fast? 50's okay. Oh, maybe, it's, maybe this is 80. Does that sound about right for England? 80's, 80, because it's miles per hour. I think 80 miles per hour is quite fast. I still think it's, still think, oh God. Whoa, what happened there? We just like went back in time. <laughs> what? Oh, that's crazy. The bus stop didn't have a, a sign back in time. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that is really trippy. Okay. Oh, we can actually go up there. So we've got Reeves Street and we've got St. John's Thorn Drive. I'll have a little explore down here. I'm thinking it's England right now. Wait, hang on. Was that like a palm tree kind of thing? England does not have these kinds of plants, does it? That is a very English looking beach. <laughs> it still could be England. They are driving on the left, so that's a, a bit of a hint. I haven't seen any other languages though. What does that say? Please use other side. Yeah, so it's in English. So it does cut out a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of Europe. Yeah, this is all in English as well. So we're definitely in England somewhere. I don't really recognize where, though. Oh, what's that? What'd that sign say? 
Sawyer... Sawyer's Bay. What the hell? <laughs> Port Chambers Golf Club. <laughs> Station Road. Your best bet is to try and find signs that like have the, the name of like the, the city you're in or something. <laughs> it's quite a nice little place, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can find a Sawyer's Bay. It's obviously going to be a bay, and there's not many of those in England. I haven't recognized any of the names I've seen so far. I don't even know if bays are going to show up on here properly. Wouldn't be on the... on the, sh on the coast, would it? Might be around here, I'm just going to plonk that there. Go back down the main road for a bit. Was this the main road? No, this is the main road. Oh yeah, Sir John Thorne Drive. Which is quite a main main road. It shouldn't really be called a drive, should it? Got a bridge with a railway. What is that? Dunedin? Dunedin, New Zealand? Oh, that was so close! I didn't even think about it being New Zealand. I just assumed it was England. Okay, so we gotta find Dunedin in New Zealand. That would explain why it didn't look like anywhere in the UK. Because <laughs> it's actually New Zealand. Where are you, New Zealand? Uh, hello? So we gotta look for a bay. <gasps> look at these bays. Lake something. And we need to find a bay, not a lake. That's a river. Okay, we don't want a river. Well they do actually have some quite quite interesting names. God, it couldn't be up on the North Island, could it? Is that still New Zealand? It is. Now they're quite Quite English sounding names, so I'm gonna assume they're around Christchurch. Oh, that's Pegasus Bay. We're just gonna go along the coast and see if we can find a, uh, a bay now. Not really looking like it. <gasps> Dunedin! That's where, that's where we are! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe we found that. So what was the road called? St. John's... St. John's Thorn? <laughs> okay, it's not in Dunedin, it's around Dunedin, I guess. So I'm just gonna have a look and see if we can find it. I don't think so, I might just have to plonk it near Dunedin and take that. Where do we think? Around here. Make guess. <laughs> Look at that. Eight kilometers away. Not bad, eh? It was kind of far away from Dunedin. Look at those points, almost 5,000. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, let's look at a summary then. My total score is 14,143. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad. So if you think you can uh, you can beat that, feel free to post your scores in the in the comments below. That was really fun. I really liked you, Guesser, actually. <laughs> oh well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. It's a you know it's a little bit different. It is a very fun game though. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.